Bonjour, 10 mistakes English speakers make in French, part 2. So we are going to see uh, 10 expressions in English and translated into French. For example, when you say I'm full, well, you know that full in French is plein or the feminine form is plein. But you can't say je suis plein or je suis pleine when it's about you. You can say that a car is full, une voiture est pleine, okay. But about you, well, for example, if you are speaking about your hotel and you say that you are full, there is no room left, you are going to say je suis complet on the phone. For example, je suis complet, désolé, je suis complet. Or if you speak about food, you are going to say j'ai trop mangé. To translate, I'm full, j'ai trop mangé. But you're not going to say je suis plein or je suis pleine. Okay? So let's see the second expression. I miss you. Well, this one actually, uh, we watch a lot uh, of video about that. Uh, and if you uh, don't understand yet, you may have a look to the, the videos I've got on my website uh, to explain how work this uh, verb. Uh, because actually it seems upside down. I miss you. I miss you is tu me manques in French. It is not je te manque. So I, the subject, become the object and the object you become the subject in your sentence. Tu me manques is the correct translation. I miss you. Again, have a look at my videos. Uh, preservatives or preservatives here. Speaking about food, preservatives, well, it's not in French preservatif, because preservatif in French, it's calm down. So, how do you translate preservatives in French? Well, we use the verb conservateur. You can say that il y a des conservateurs dans la nourriture. Il y a des conservateurs dans la nourriture, and not preservatif. I'm from Spain. That's an error that uh, we can hear to I'm from Spain. You may think that you could say je suis d'Espagne, a translation word for word. But actually it's not correct French to say je suis d'Espagne. We prefer to say just je suis espagnol. I'm Spanish. Je suis espagnol. So I'm from France. You're not going to say je suis de France, but je suis Français. It's much better. He broke his leg. He broke his leg. Well, a translation word for word would be il a cassé sa jambe, but it's not correct French. You know that about uh, speaking about the body, we use all the time or many times we, yell, we use uh, reflexive verbs. So here we are going to use one and this reflexive verb is se casser. It is not uh, to break, it is to break oneself, se casser. And in this case, the translation is il s'est cassé la jambe. You are not going to say sa jambe again because you say it at the beginning with the s apostrophe. So il s'est cassé la jambe. He broke his leg. Elle s'est cassé la jambe. She broke her leg. Okay? Well done. Well, well done is not again the translation word for word bien fait. Bien fait in French is ironic. You want to say it serves yourself. Bien fait. Bien fait pour toi. For example, you have just uh, fallen and you say bien fait. C'est bien fait pour toi. But well done actually in French is bravo. Bravo. Well done. Actually, it's a false, false friend. Actually, it is not actuellement. Actuellement in French means now, nowadays. But actually uh, in French means en fait. En fait or in fact. En fait. En fait, il est vrai de dire que. Eventually, another false friend because we've got the French word éventuellement in French, but éventuellement does not mean eventually. You translate eventually in French saying finalement, finalement. 
to drive this verb is interesting because we have uh, several translations for that but if you want to use it about a distance for example you're not going to use the verb conduire if you want to say uh, I drive to Paris we are going to use the expression aller en voiture instead so I drive to Paris je vais à Paris en voiture ou je vais en voiture à Paris but we are not going to use in this case the verb conduire aller en voiture and actually the same for to fly and to walk let's see a similar example she's washing her hands so how are, you, are we going to translate that you remember that when it's about the body we use reflexive verbs in French and it's going to be the case so you are not going to say elle lave ses mains elle lave ses mains well of course you are going to understand that but it's not the way you will say it we are going to use the reflexive verb se laver and the translation is elle se lave les mains again we are not going to say ses mains no les mains elle se lave les mains okay well it was 10 mistakes actually you may uh, you may find on internet or you may listen so now c'est fini alors merci d'avoir suivi cette vidéo avec moi maintenant je vous dis au revoir et bon français